All right, anyway, so let's take a look out there at the forecast today, though, and the satellite radar showing us the past six hours we've had prime conditions to get outside. Yeah, yesterday was fantastic. I hope you got to enjoy it, but if you didn't, you get a second chance for today. Today, we're going to be back in the 70s once again, so way above average temperatures for this time of year, and also a good amount of sunshine as well. So it's going to be a great day to get outside. Here's a live look. New Haven this morning. It's 55 degrees. Those wind speeds are nice and calm, but uh, yeah, we're still staying unseasonably warm at least for today and for tomorrow too. We're going to be in the upper 60s. However, we do have some showers possible ahead of a cold front tonight, so we might see just some overnight showers, maybe some lingering showers into tomorrow morning as possible and then cooler temperatures for this weekend. So we're talking about the coldest temperatures too as we head towards earlier next week uh, since May. May 14th was the last time we saw lows in the 30s and we think that could happen again as we head towards Sunday into Monday and Monday into Tuesday. All right, temperatures right now, though, let's not speak too much of those cold temperatures. We're in the 50s. It's feeling pretty comfortable out there. You still need a light jacket heading out the door. 60 degrees in the Bridgeport area, the upper 40s in some northern locations. Dew points are dry, though. It's feeling, once again, pretty refreshing out there. Those wind speeds are nice and calm. Let's check in on that future cast. So, yes, for today, a little bit more cloud cover than yesterday. However, once again, Again, temperatures are going to be in the 70s as we head towards this afternoon. I do think in some locations we could even get into the upper 70s. Uh, that is possible. So let's check in on the overnight hours. We've got partly cloudy conditions. You can see actually these showers ahead of a cold front pushing through. So I think they really fizzle out by the time they get to our state. So you could see some of these showers in the northwest corner. And then by 6 a.m., maybe a shower is possible. We'll see tomorrow morning. But for the most part, this unsettled weather really isn't going to stick around for much of Friday. Friday looking like another great day. Definitely not as warm, so there's going to be more of a chill in the air. However, these temperatures for tomorrow in the upper 60s are still above average for this time of the year. So yes, for tomorrow afternoon, maybe a little bit more cloud cover building as we head in towards Saturday. And Saturday, we're looking at mostly cloudy conditions. But today, we're not expecting necessarily record warmth. Our uh, actually record temperature, record high temperature in the Hartford area is 82 degrees, and we're not expecting to get into the 80s today. Our forecasted high of 77, 76 along the shoreline and 72 in New London. Those forecasted lows for tonight. So partly cloudy conditions. We've got the chance once again of those showers, especially early in the morning and the weekend looks a lot different. So you could see temperatures that will be in the upper 50s for Saturday. A lot more cloud cover. We've got the chance for some showers too as we head in towards Sunday. Not a big chance, not anything like a washout. And then Sunday, temperatures in the 60s, low 60s, which is right actually on point where we should be this time of the year. Heading in towards Monday, you can see uh, a temperature of 57 degrees. So uh, we are looking a lot colder. Tuesday, 56, the coldest air. Look at that difference between today and Tuesday. That is a 22, uh, 21 degree drop. I can do math, I promise. 59 degrees on Wednesday as well. So we're looking at cooler temperatures towards next week. So enjoy these warm temperatures while you can. And uh, Caitlin, yeah, I know I'm enjoying this unseasonably warm temperature or yeah. these warm temperatures, but uh, yeah, it's going to feel a lot more fall like as we head towards this weekend. I was going to say, it's definitely more seasonable, yeah, right? Yeah, it is. And it's not a bad thing. No, it's no. It, I think people, that's why we live here, right? For the most totally. part. Totally. New England we fall. like the seasons. New yes. England fall. But yeah, it's definitely nice to kind of soak up that last little bit of uh, warm weather. And summertime. Yeah.